In this video, I'm going to share with you three stress management techniques that can be measured objectively through heart rate variability. By doing this, we'll be able to prove that these techniques work to reduce your stress. How's it going guys? This is Chris with HealthyConsumer.com, back with another episode of Mental Health Mondays. Mental Health Mondays is where we discuss stress management, depression, anxiety, and everything related to those subjects. So if that sounds like something that interests you, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss another video. Two weeks ago, I did a video on heart rate variability and I shared how it's the perfect barometer to measure how your autonomic nervous system, so the fight or flight response, is working. You can measure this objectively through an app called HRV for training, which I'll put in the description below. Over the last three weeks, I have been using three methods to improve my heart rate variability. I've tracked it every day this entire time. During the last three weeks, my heart rate variability has improved from 47 milliseconds to 55.5 milliseconds on average. And I'll show that to you on the screen now in this graph here. You can see the overall trend. They have what are called recovery points, where the author of this app is combining several subjective factors with the objective measurement of your daily heart rate variability. So I think it gives a nice robust measurement to see how your autonomic nervous system is responding. So I know as this trend continues in an upward fashion that my autonomic nervous system is functioning better. So I'm getting less of that sympathetic, that fight or flight response, and I'm more into the rest and digest the parasympathetic nervous system. As you saw in my previous video, the higher heart rate variability, the lower your chance of death for all causes of mortality. So this is an important thing to work on, guys. And by doing so, you can cope with your chronic injuries or chronic conditions that you might already have and have better outcomes. So what's the first thing that I did to improve my heart rate variability? First thing was I made a commitment to quality, consistent sleep for at least seven and a half hours every night. I think I've been there about six out of seven days a week. And I've tried my best to get to bed at the same time and get up at the same time. So I'm keeping that consistency of my sleep-wake cycle. I was being sure not to use electronics at least a half hour before bed. And I was being sure to always use a face mask as well to keep additional light out. So my sleep has felt better and I have felt more awake overall over the last three weeks, more alert, more able to function at work, which has been great. So quality consistent sleep was point number one. Point number two was cardiovascular exercise for 20 to 25 minutes, four days a week at 55 to 85% of my target heart rate maximum. You can calculate that using a target heart rate maximum calculator from Google. You can find the, the top end of that with 220 minus your age. I strongly believe that this has been a factor in improving my heart rate variability. And there are several studies that conclude that cardiovascular exercise in this range of 55 to 85% of your target heart rate maximum will improve your heart rate variability. And point number three was a relaxation breathing with a one to two ratio of inhale to exhale. So I would lie down for five minutes and I would inhale for four seconds and I would exhale for eight seconds. So I'm driving the parasympathetic nervous system and taking down the drive of the sympathetic nervous system. So you can see after reviewing these that these are relatively minimal time commitments, each one of these. They all can be done even with a busy schedule. You just have to take the plunge. In order to improve your heart rate variability, you have to stress the system a little bit and then have rest. Stress the system a little bit and then have rest. Just like if you were trying to put on muscle mass, you've gotta have both got to have the stimulus, you got to have the rest. I'll continue to update you guys on heart rate variability experiments like this. I'd love to hear your experience with heart rate variability. If you've ever used an app, if you've ever been curious about it, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. This has been another episode of Mental Health Mondays. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss another video. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and I look forward to seeing you next Monday. <music>